Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, but most people know me as ZA Reptiles, and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you what my animals got for Christmas. So, Hurtmas isn't quite over yet. This is going to be another little continuation of Hurtmas. Hurtmas will be done at the end of December. So, what my animals got for Christmas. So, I'm going to start off with the two items I don't actually currently have. UPS was supposed to bring them, I think, Christmas Eve, and they didn't come, so they're supposed to be here today. But that is a whole new thing of calcium. Um, my calcium's kind of kind of old. It's time for a new one. So new calcium is coming in today and I'll be putting it in my little calcium supplement jar, which I would show you, but it's downstairs because I was showing my mom. But if you want to see my new little supplement jars, watch my present swap with Medusa because she hand painted me some cute little supplement jars and shipped them to me for Christmas. And they are absolutely adorable. The second item, well, second and third, I guess, will be for my crested geckos. More specifically, um, the boy that I have who doesn't quite have a name, but I'm leaning towards Potato. So we're going to call him Potato for this video. So the next items are more so for Potato because Pip is the one that has a really big Christmas. So we'll say these items are for Potato. So we've got biodegradable uh, gecko food cups coming in for him because he has Pip's old feeding ledge because it's bigger and he's a bigger gecko, but needs the big cups. And I don't have big reusable cups for him. I don't like buying the plastic ones. So I got biodegradable ones. So those are coming in today for him. I also got some new Pangea because I'm almost out. Um, so I got watermelon flavored. It's been a while since I've offered them some watermelon. So we've got some watermelon going on. Um, most of the animals got this present early, but that is some sphagnum moss. So I got this big thing of moss, and a lot of the animals got it. Crikey got some, um, the boas got some, so crunk, um, my red tail boa, my Colombian rainbow boa, um, snicket, and then I saved some for Pip to go with her gift. Now these I'm very excited about. So Percy and Eugene, so my Cuban Knight and Noel, who you can kind of see his enclosure right here off to the side, and Eugene, my Veiled Chameleon, they're both in Rupture Breeze cages, and I wanted to make some changes to them. So I'm trying out these chameleon bags from the Bio Dude. So these are for going bioactive in screened enclosures like Rupture Breezes. So I've got this really big one for the bottom of Eugene's and this smaller one for the bottom of Percy's. I don't know if I'm quite gonna go the bioactive route per se, but I wanted something that could fill with dirt, fill with plants, help the humidity, um, something to catch water, something to worry about leaking out. Eugene does have a drip pan in the bottom of his. Percy does not. And I was looking to buy him one because he's got a little water fountain now, but sometimes the leaks when the plants, the leaves get in the way and then there's a mess on the floor. So I wanted something that could catch the water and when I was looking for a drip pan for him, that's when I saw someone using these and I decided I'd give it a try. So you can look forward to an updated uh, enclosure upgrade type of video coming for those two soon. So the next gift is actually downstairs, but it's actually from my mom to Arcadius because he is her favorite. And those were some hand warmers. You guys have been around since the start of ZA Reptiles, so like before YouTube when it was just Instagram, you knew that Arcadius traveled with me everywhere because he was with me at college. So every time I came home, he'd come with me. He's my travel companion. So, because he's a traveling iguana, we'll say, she gave me hand warmers. Well, gave him hand warmers. Um, so something that I use a lot when I'm traveling with reptiles is some sort of hand warmer, or heating pad or something like that. All right, and then the big gift, which is what I was saving for last, which you can actually kind of see it right here. 
If you guys have been around the last couple of months, you know that I was working on a bioactive enclosure for Pip, my crested gecko, and I started it like back in October, the end of October, I think is when I started it. And it's been a slow process. It's also been a very big learning process. I wasn't, I recorded doing the background and then I wasn't gonna put out the video. But I think just for a learning curve and to kind of be like, look, here's my first attempt at bioactive so that when I do more bioactives, you can kind of see the growth. Um, I will record it and put it out. But you just know it doesn't look that pretty. I made some mistakes, but I know what I did wrong, but I'm gonna leave it how it is. But for Christmas for Pip, I got the rest of the supplies I needed to finish her bioactive setup. So I, we're actually gonna do that today. Um, so I'll be filming that, so watch for that video. But I got some of these leaves. A lot of it just came from Amazon. So I'll actually link, actually, I think everything came from Amazon pretty much. So I will link everything that you can get on Amazon that I've talked about in this video down below. So pretty, all the stuff I'm about to mention all came from Amazon. So I've got th these leaves, this leaf litter for her bioactive for the ground. Um, I'll probably give a couple to some of the other animals, um, the isopods, but I'm gonna put some in her bioactive enclosure. I've got Josh's Frogs ABG mix. Part of what took so long for me to do this bioactive is I couldn't decide what I wanted to use for a substrate. I was stuck between this ABG mix and the Bio Dudes whole shebang. Um, the shipping for the Bio Dude stuff, though, for some reason, shipping here was really, really high. So I didn't go with that. I contemplated making my own, but I've heard a lot of good things about Josh's Frog's ABG mix. And it was on Amazon, Amazon Prime. So I was like, why not? So we're going to be using that. So she's getting that for Christmas. I do have some leftover clay pebbles that I've had around for a while, but I didn't know if I had enough. So I ordered some clay pebbles for like a false bottom type of thing, drainage layer. And then because I want it to look really naturalistic inside, you know, I've got plants and driftwood. Right now my geckos have those um, like ch suction cup bamboo extendy bars, which I really like, but they're fake. So I don't want to use that in her bioactive. So I wanted something that I could create more horizontal climbing space with. Because um, with climbing animals, you want not only vertical um, vertical climbing opportunities, but horizontal as well. And so I got this moss vine, also from Amazon. Um, that way I can kind of bend it and put it however I want. And it still looks pretty natural and it will help hold up humidity too. So we're going to give that a try as well. The last item I'm going to mention is kind of more so for me, but has to do with reptile education. And that is a push cart. So my parents got me a push cart for reptile education programs. You know, when you're going to places alone, it can be difficult to carry in lots of animals at a time. And you don't really want to bring in a couple of animals and leave them unsupervised in a strange place to go out and get more animals from your car. So we actually use these at the zoo for programs and they were a lifesaver for me. We started using them as soon as I started doing programs on my own. So I'm not really sure how they did programs by themselves before we had those push cards because we brought four animals to programs. And sometimes you had like a huge possum, a snake, a bird, and a huge thing. And like, it was just, I don't know how anyone did it by themselves. So I've got those push cart now. So it's very exciting, which means that when I unload animals from my car to bring them in somewhere for a program, I can just stack their travel bins on the cart and just push them all right in. It's going to be great. So that is everything my animals got for Christmas. Don't forget, I will link everything, pretty much everything that I just mentioned in this video came from Amazon. So I will link it all in the description below. So if you guys want to go and check out any of it, see how much things are, everything is prime. So it'll all be linked in the description below. So I'm going to go work on Pips Bioactive now. So if you want to see how that ends up turning out and how I do it, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you for the next video. Bye.